in overtime. Michael, why do you think Trump was so provoked by your play? Okay, <laughs> I saw your play. I was in it a little bit. You, you, had, you had guests <clears throat> in your play. It's fantastic. You made your Broadway debut with me. Uh, no, I'd been on Broadway yeah, before. Virginia Theater. Oh, that's right, your own show. That's right. Uh, but but Trump did really go ape, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and was tweeting about it. What, what's the deal? I, uh, it's <laughs> he waited till it was over. So I thought that showed discipline. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't sell any tickets uh, for it. I think I think uh, Trump's had a, a complicated relationship with me. Uh, the way that he's tweeted at me in the past and danced around without trying to get too angry because I am his yeah. base. Yeah. I am his demographic. Mm -hmm. And I am an angry, middle-aged white guy from the Midwest. And right. Right. I, then, I then am his, hopefully, worst enemy. Because the battle is to get as many of the people I grew up with to go with me and not with him. And we lost Michigan by two votes per precinct. That's right. it. Right. Two right. votes per precinct. That's right. And, um, and so I'm on a mission to make sure that doesn't happen again, not just in Michigan, but across the country. And he knows that. And he, well, I got this. I'm making a film about him, too, right now. He knows that. And, um, and he, uh, he was on Fox News during the election last year, bragging about how he and I have had dinner a couple of times. And Michael Moore, he's a great guy. He's a great guy. And, he's, and I'm like, and he's doing this because he's, he knows that that crossover where I live, those 8 million Obama voters that voted for Trump right. are also people who listen to me. And so we're in this battle for that, that group that will probably yeah. decide the next election. He needs to come after me. And, and I say, bring it on. Okay. Bring it on. Um, so, Donna, are, how can Democrats effectively battle against gerrymandering, Republican gerrymandering? We got to do what we did on Tuesday. That is, we have to win gubernatorial races. Uh, next year, there are 36 gubernatorial races, including here in California, <clears throat> 10 of the top largest states. If we want to have veto power over bad maps, that's number one. Number two, we need more it's citizens. Not the legislature? It's... Well, yeah, it's the legislature, but remember, the governors can veto. That's why it was so important to right. recapture that gubernatorial yes. race. So, once again, we got to get out there, we got to vote. Next year is the key, because if we control state houses in, in mm -hmm. 2018, we'll Critical. be able to uh, reconfigure these districts in 2022. The new saying is, when they go low, we go local. Hey. And that's how we're going to win the day. Uh, Sarah, do you think a conservative comedian would ever travel around the country and meet people with radically different beliefs like you did? I don't know. I haven't met one. <laughs> oh, yes, you. You know conservative comedian. Who? Dennis Miller. Yeah, I actually, he was one of the first people <clears throat> I wanted to get on my show because I interview people who have been changed. Right. And I didn't want to only, you know, and, uh, but they, I got a hard no. I really don't know him, though. <laughs> I, I was a huge fan. I loved his black and white special. Yeah. No, I, he's a... He's a <clears throat> who else? Can I say something about well, another... Uh, <laughs> I didn't know there were any. Well, I, I bet you... I don't think the, like, the... Uh, who are the, you know, the uh, guys who... Uh, the redneck tour, the... What, what do they call it? The Jeff, uh, Fo Jeff Foxworthy, Foxworthy and... What is it? But they're not political at all. I don't think... I, I know, think, but If anything, uh, they know to hide any political beliefs. They, like I'm we see in country saying, music happening if a lot. You, if you scratch... Not Joe the Plumber. What's the... Who, yeah, uh, what, Dan. <laughs> His name is... Um, that that Larry the Cable guy. Dan. guy. Dan. Yeah. Yeah, yes. I always heard he's a nice guy. They're I funny, but they, I bet you that they're conservative. They're very conservative. Okay. Yeah. There, you know this. Of course. Oh. I've slept with half of them. <laughs> <laughs> I do. There is something. You know how, like, what your, like, porn search words aren't necessarily who you are. It's just you can't help it. And sometimes I do uh, think of Pence. But I, Pence. It, I, I hate him. I really hate him. I, I try not to hate, well, but... Sexually, I think about him because it. Why? Yeah. Because What's I don't wrong? know. It seems like he like holds his breath when he comes, and there's something. Oh, wow. Like I'm a perverted fuck, and that turns me on a little bit to think about. His wife will never let you out the house. No, I yeah. I find him abhorrent. <laughs> I, right. I don't like people who don't look at the spirit of a thing. Like when you decide to look at 
kneeling NFL players and decide to not hear what they're talking about and say right. it's about the military. That's bullshit. Right. I hate that. That's one thing I really hate about. Somehow you got right from <laughs> not breathing during orgasm to kneeling for the end. Yeah, well, I, I, I just I, don't I, like him, but uh, uh, in my, my sexual fantasy, sometimes he appears. You know, <laughs> it's... Life is complicated. It, it is complicated. It, it abso and it, we don't know everything. Chris, did something about the Trump era make you want to revisit Bobby Kennedy's life and legacy? He's the opposite. Uh -huh. He's a man of heart who had empathy for people. Trump can't express empathy with a widow. He, he doesn't have it. Bobby would go to the, a black community the night that Dr. King was killed. You, to show empathy, you have to make yourself vulnerable. You can't just walk in and be tough with all the armor on. Okay. You've got to walk in and let yourself get hurt. And he walked into it. The cops wouldn't come in with him. Right. And he had, and I got the old tape. Do they know yet? No. He has to tell them. Mm -hmm. That's right. And it was powerful. powerful. And, he, powerful. and he basically was, in his awkwardness, he was true. And he yes. ended up saying things like, we have to say a prayer for our country right. and our people. But it was all like, my brother was killed by a white guy. It was awkward. And yet here he's telling people that the greatest hero in history, of their history certainly, and uh, that, that he's dead and be killed by a white guy and a racist killing. And he had to tell them. And he could do it. I don't know anybody else could do that. In light of all these uh, sex scandals lately, what do, you, what do you say about the Kennedys? Bobby and Jack were both I don't think it's doing important. things. I don't, think, I don't think that's the important thing about them. Uh, okay, it may not be the important thing, but well, certainly they did... it is in some did, people's lives. They did, they did things back then. Like that what? If he did, Fill me in. Well, can't... Well, just tell me. Can't, and I'll respond to each point. Well, I... I <laughs> I think Kennedy certainly was fucking a mafia courier. Yeah, that was a problem. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, I love that. But you know what? And, now that you've opened it up, <laughs> now that you've opened it up, so Bobby's crossing you know, no, no, you're having and, fun. This is and, really important. You know, Bobby's, and Bobby's going after the rackets for three years of the rackets committee. He's going after the yeah, mobbed I, up labor guys. He's going after yeah, Jane Connor. I'm Jane a Kennedy okay, fan. just a point, just a point. Uh, uh. Meanwhile, the, the CIA is using Giancana to get Castro. Meanwhile, the old man's asking the Giancana crowd to give him money in West Virginia. What else? It's hard to figure out anything else. I mean, the, John, Bobby's working against this, against the family on this. He's working against the CIA. Uh, he's working against his brother's girlfriend. Jack Kenny's having sex with Giancana's girlfriend. This is a problem. And, and Bobby had to stop him from doing it. And maybe he had to stop the CIA from doing what they were doing. Spy and, no, he was and the good Mar Marilyn Monroe, I think they both w w got in there. Yeah. I mean, that's... I don't think that's a big deal. Uh, no. but, I mean, in that case, I mean, it's just... It's something yeah. it's, there's plenty of books written about that. I wanted to write about his public life and what he yeah, did yeah. for the country. Uh, Can just, I tell a quick Bobby yeah, Kennedy story? Please do. Uh, I was 11 years old. My parents took us to Washington just so we could see the Capitol and yeah. our government. And uh, I was 11, and I got separated from them in the Capitol building. And I went into the Senate elevator by mistake, and there's a man reading a paper there, and the door shuts, and the paper comes down, and it's Bobby Kennedy. Wow. <gasps> And, I, and he says, what, young man, what are, you, what are you lost? I said, yes, I've lost my parents. Mm -hmm. and, and when the elevator doors opened on the next floor, he took me to the Capitol Police mm -hmm. so that they could put the radio out that there's a child okay. that's... And then he stayed there with me wow. until my parents came talking to me about Michigan and the senators from Michigan and that's all this. Great. And that's why you're a liberal <laughs> today. No. And that's why... That's him. All right. Thank you, everybody. It was a great week for us. Yes! Great week! Great week! A great week for us. That's all. Give us a